Swedish Talk Entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk a little bit Batman versus Superman, or Superman versus Batman, or Justice League version 1.0, whatever you want to call it. So the recent news is that Zack Snyder is officially directing Justice League. Justice League is officially announced. Uh, this doesn't come as a surprise to anyone, considering the amount of characters that are going to be in the next Man of Steel movie. I think it was quite obvious what direction they were going in. But the thing that, could, you know, I'm excited for it. Look, despite what people want to say, criticize criticize the casting of Ben Affleck, criticize the casting of Eisenberg as uh, Lex Luthor, whatever, or Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, whatever the case may be, I'm still excited for this because it's Justice League. And it's the comic stuff. And, you know, I enjoyed Man of Steel. I'm a little concerned with this movie, not because of the casting, but because of the amount of characters they're putting in it. Because I recently read that, I guess, uh, gentlemen, I... I have the name right here. I'll pull it up. But they casted another character from the movie, uh, Cyborg. And he's going to be played by Sam Fisher. And it's like, it's a lot of characters. I mean, and I'm hearing that the, the Flash is also going to be in there. And, and I heard rumor possibly that the Arrow is going to be in there as well. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, I'm sure these roles are going to be small. But they're obviously building up to now what's been officially announced as Justice League. So, Zack Snyder, I, look, I liked... I like the Man of Steel. I like what what he did there. The only thing is, is that they. I, I just kind of feel like they're they're and I understand why they're. I feel like they're rushing it, and I understand why they are. They're a little behind the eight ball. I mean, we're already heading into Avengers two before we even see a Justice League. But you know, there's nothing wrong. I think, in my opinion, with them doing it at a good pace to make sure it's done right. Like you're not going to lose any more money now than you would have later. You know. It's very important for them to get this right because they don't have a lot of other characters to fall back on. They really don't. Now, a lot of people don't feel that great about Gal Gadot playing Wonder Woman. And I can understand that. You know, she's not well known. She's been in a couple of movies. Uh, her acting ability is somewhat, you know, less than mediocre. I'm <laughs> being nice. And I don't have a problem with her casting. I think she's beautiful. I think she's got she's a tall girl. Uh, her size is not a concern. I am more than sure she's going to put on about 15 pounds of muscle between now and the release of that movie. If there was one person I could think that would have been a really good Wonder Woman, if you watch Game of Thrones, I forget her name, but she plays Brienne, the knight, and uh, while she doesn't look great on the show, if you see pictures of the actress outside of the show, she is gorgeous. She is a gorgeous woman. She's completely beautiful. She's very tall. She's well built. I think she would have been a good Wonder Woman, but, you know, What's done is done. So, now Justice League. We're going to be getting that. I kind of feel that Superman, the Man of Steel 2, is kind of like a Justice League in some rights, with all, with all the characters in it. Now, obviously, Superman will be the focus, then Batman. I don't know how much of Wonder Woman we're going to see. I don't know how much of some of these other characters we're going to see. But, um, it, it, to me, it's just not Man of Steel anymore. It's more like Justice League preview. You know, Now, I don't know how it's going to play out. I don't know how it's going to do versus Captain America. I don't expect it to do bad versus Captain America. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll do just fine, if not better. Because while Cap had a great movie this... Um, I don't believe, in my personal opinion, as much as I love Marvel and I love Captain America, I just don't think he has that kind of clout like Superman and Batman. So I wouldn't surprise me if, if Man of Steel does perfectly fine at the theaters that weekend. They both might do great. There might just be one weekend where people go out to see two movies. Perfectly fine. I know I will. If they come out the same weekend, which right now they do, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to change between now and then. But if they come out the same weekend, if it stays that way, I'm going to go see both. I don't know about anyone else. I'm going to see both movies. So I don't think there's going to be a big, uh, you know, one's going to trounce the other at the box office. I think they're both going to be, uh, if not neck and neck, pretty close. And I'm going to give the edge to Batman and Superman. But I'll tell you this much, though. If Captain America comes out on top... <laughs> Oh my God, that would be a brutal loss for Warner Brothers and their uh, superhero uh, universe <laughs> against Marvel, and that's probably why Marvel's doing it. They want to see, uh, you know, how their cap stacks up against Batman and Superman. Again, I don't think 
it'll beat it, but I don't think it'll be blown out either. I think they'll both do well at the box office that weekend. But we got a long way to go before that happens. A lot could change. The dates could change. But I, I'm excited for Justice League. Overall, I am excited. I liked Man of Steel. Uh, I think Ben Affleck is going to be perfectly fine as Batman Bruce Wayne. I think he will be a better Bruce Wayne than Batman. But again, I, I don't. I expect him to do well. I really do. Uh, I think he's come a long way as an actor. So I don't think that'll be a big deal. Um, Jesse Eisenberg. I think that's his. Yeah. So he. He. Um. I, I. You know. I don't have a problem with him as playing Lex. You know. I know a lot of people were pushing and wanted to see Brian Cranston, and and that would have been a great pick too. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not disappointed with him. I. I the few movies I've seen him in, I've been pretty much happy with what he's done. He seems like a decent actor. And again, at the end of the day, we need to see these people on film first before we can completely judge whether or not they're going to suck in the role. So I'm going to reserve my judgment. I think they'll do okay. Uh, they could suck. They could be perfectly fine. We'll just have to wait and see. But, um, you, know, you know, Justice League, we knew this was coming. This is no big surprise. If you want to read the article, I'll put the link in the description. But uh, how do you guys feel about... Uh, Zack Snyder doing the Justice League. Are you happy? I know there's some people who do not like him. They don't like the way he did the Man of Steel. Personally, I don't have an issue with it. I was very happy with Man of Steel. I love the movie, and I'm looking forward to Justice League. Uh, you know, superhero stuff is always fun to watch at the movie theaters. I know it's kind of getting overdone now, and it's becoming a novelty. Uh, something that's slow, I would say slowly wearing off on people. But I think it's going to be a long time before the audience gets tired of superhero movies. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk a little bit Batman versus Superman, or Superman versus Batman, or Justice League version 1.0, whatever you want to call it. So the recent news is that Zack Snyder is officially directing Justice League. Justice League is officially announced. Uh, this doesn't come as a surprise to anyone, considering the amount of characters that are going to be in the next Man of Steel movie. I think it was quite obvious what direction they were going in. But the thing that, could, the, you know, I'm excited for it. Look, despite what people want to say, criticize criticize the casting of Ben Affleck, criticize the casting of...